Tonight we begin here with students at Winthrop University demanding change and action. Their cries for safety come after a sexual assault inside a dorm room, and the man who did this is still out there. WCNC Charlotte's Hunter Signs heard from those asking the university to make the campus safer, and he shares their message. This must be addressed immediately. A few dozen Winthrop University students sat in protest Friday night, demanding a safer campus. We trust that we're paying $30,000 a year to be protected. Freshman Raven Spigner is one of them. The last thing that we want to do on a Friday night as college kids is come out here and protest because we don't feel safe in our dorms. Their pleas for protection come after campus police say this man somehow got into Phelps Hall in mid-November and sexually assaulted a student. He was seen on surveillance cameras walking in the building and around campus, even wearing a backpack, although police say he's not a student here. I don't feel safe at all. Freshman Melody Guerin says it's triggering for her, a sexual assault survivor herself. They sent us the photos of him walking down the path I walk every day, and I could have walked past him and not even known. These students would like the university to add better security at dorms, not only relying on fobs. They'd also like the school to fix any emergency blue lights that could be broken. There are several lights throughout this campus, but students would like to see more of them because in some spots like this one, it's quite dark without them. A list of demands in hopes of making their campus safer with no sign of backing down. This is pressure on Winthrop. In Rock Hill, Hunter Signs, WCNC Charlotte. Now we did reach out to Winthrop University tonight for comment. We haven't heard back. Now in November, campus officials told us that residence halls are locked 24 seven and students need a Winthrop ID to get inside. They continue to ask everyone on campus to remain vigilant.